So this is the Logan City landfill. The trucks will come in here and they go up and down that, the brim of that hill up there. So I remember the leases being buried just on the other side of the brim of that hill. So the Lisa was the first uh, prototype to what would eventually become the Macintosh, even though they were technically different. The Lisa uh, had a much more sophisticated operating system than the Macintosh did when it first came out. When people say we just went to Xerox and stole their ideas, that's just wrong. We, we got inspiration, but we had to do a lot of engineering on top of that. The Lisa was far ahead of its day. They knew that at the time. It was very expensive. Part of the reason it was expensive was they were pushing the cutting edge of what it was supposed to do. But it was really a very groundbreaking computer. The Lisa was the first thing that the general public saw of what became the general paradigm for computing. The graphic user interface, having an office metaphor, having menus available, not having to type commands in on the command line. They got into trouble with the Lisa because of the $10,000 initial price. I think that sort of killed uh, popular interest. Well, with the Lisa, you actually, not only do you get windows and a mouse, you also get icons, menus, um, you get a lot of features that don't show up until much, much later, even in, in most recent Mac OS's. So this was the initial Lisa user interface with black background and soft keys. We started playing with Windows. This is the very first Windows on uh, Lisa. All right, so the Lisa was their first attempt at graphic user interface. I do know that the dynamic was a little different as far as the, the, the way the desktop uh, worked, um, but it was a great proving ground for what they would make better later. There is a common thread and that's Steve Jobs, so obviously he took the lessons learned right from the Lisa team and went to the Macintosh and decided, okay, I'm going to use this talent over here and realized my dream, possibly what he was trying to do on the Lisa team, got, kicked, got him kicked out. I think the Lisa's legacy is one where it's one of uh, the lessons of overreach, of, re of trying to do too much too soon. It's probably not going to be Apple who reminds us of the Lisa matter. It will all be computer historian, historians and enthusiasts who reflect on this machine. The irony of it is, if IBM had introduced Lisa, Katie by the door, it's over. We were ahead of the game.